Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Daintree Rainforest. I took a quick trip up to Queensland because I needed to film this video for you guys and the book we are reading in reading today is Where the Forest Meets the Sea and that book is actually based on the Daintree Rainforest. So some of you might have even been here before. Um, it's in Queensland, um, up near the top, really tropical. Um, so that's why I've gone to film this video. So I hope you enjoy our reading activities for today. So today we are learning to deepen our understanding of cause and effects. So we're using our prior knowledge about different texts and we're inferencing to make connections to what we read and our own experiences and what information we find out. So what are causes and effects? Well, causes and effects are things that we see a lot in our reading and our writing and everyday life really. So a cause is the event of something happening, so an action that happens. And the effect is the result of that action. So having a look at our topic today of deforestation, so you can see here we've got a poster here. Um, what does this poster tell us about the, how humans are currently using forests? So the causes of um, deforestation uh, so we're using agriculture, so that's an action. We're logging and cattle grazing, as you can see up the top here. So these are some of the reasons why humans are doing deforestation. So that is the cause. But what's the effect of doing those things? Well, as you can see here, so the effect of these things, these actions happening, is, as you can see in this little box here, an area of a forest the size of a football field is destroyed every, um, sorry, every two seconds. That's a lot of forest being destroyed. It's the size of a football field. So if you think of um, Marvel Stadium, that size is being destroyed every two seconds in the world. So because of those actions that humans are doing, so I'm just using humans as an example here. So because of those causes, so agricultural logging and cattle grazing because of those causes the effect of that is every two seconds a football field is destroyed of forest that's just an example you can see there there's a few different ones on there have a good look and it talks a lot about what our causes are so the cause being that action and the effect so the result of that action so what might happen if humans continue to use forest in that way which of the facts on the following poster did you find most surprising and why? So have a little think here, maybe pause the video, have a really good look at that poster, um, have a look and see what you think is really surprising to you. I know um, I found the football fields um, being destroyed every two um, seconds really surprising because that's a lot of forest that's going um, away every two seconds. So that's really surprising to me. Alrighty guys, what we're going to do now is you're going to watch a little um, clip here about deforestation and then we're going to read our beautiful book, Where the Forest Meets the Sea. So keep watching um, and watch this next little clip about deforestation to give you a bit of an idea about what it is and how it has causes and the effects of those actions. Forests cover about 30% of the planet and the ecosystems they create play an essential role in supporting life on Earth. But deforestation is clearing Earth's forests on a massive scale, and at the current rate of destruction, the world's rainforests could completely disappear within a hundred years. Why should we care about deforestation? Together, forestry and agriculture are responsible for 24% of greenhouse gas emissions, making deforestation a significant contributor to climate change. Deforestation impacts the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere in two ways. First, when trees are felled, they release the carbon they are storing into the atmosphere. Second, trees play a critical role in absorbing the greenhouse gases that fuel global warming. Fewer forests mean larger amounts of greenhouse gases entering the atmosphere and increase speed and severity of global warming. In addition to helping regulate the Earth's climate, forests provide habitats for over 80% of the plants and animals that live on land. 
But deforestation destroys these habitats, diminishing biodiversity. Some estimate that four to six thousand rainforest species go extinct each year. This also affects the more than two billion people who rely on forests as sources of food and shelter. The biggest driver of deforestation is agriculture. Farmers chop down trees in order to plant crops like soybeans, palm trees, and cocoa, or to make room to raise livestock for beef. Logging operations, which provide the world's wood and paper products, also cut countless trees each year. Forests are also destroyed as a result of growing urban sprawl as land is developed for dwellings. The effects of deforestation are grave, but not irreversible. Efforts such as managing forest resources, eliminating clear cutting, and planting new trees to replace those removed are already being made to reduce deforestation's environmental impact on our planet. And while some plant and animal species are gone forever, combating deforestation can help prevent further loss of biodiversity. Alrighty, now that we've watched that clip on deforestation and know a little bit more about and what it is and how it affects our planet, we're going to read the story Where the Forest Meets the Sea. Where the Forest Meets the Sea by Jeannie Baker. My father knows a place we can only reach by boat. Not many people go there and you have to know your way through the reef. When we arrive, cockatoos rise from the forest in a squawking cloud. My father says there has been a forest here for over a hundred million years. My father says there used to be crocodiles here and kangaroos that lived in trees. Maybe there still are. I follow a creek into a rainforest. I pretend it is a hundred million years ago. On the bank of the creek, the vines and creepers try to hold me back. I push through. Now the forest is easy to walk in. I sit very still and watch and listen. I wonder how long it takes the trees to grow to the top of the forest. I find an ancient tree. It's hollow. Perhaps Aboriginal forest children played here too. I climb inside the tree. It's dark, but the twisted roots make windows. This is a good place to hide. It is time to go and find my father. I think I hear the sea. I walk towards the sound. My father has made a fire and is cooking the fish he caught. I like fish cooked this way, but then I feel sad because the day has gone so quickly. My father says we'll come here again someday. But will the forest still be here when we come back?
this is where the Dane Tree Rainforest is. The place, the people and the precedent are real. The forest is part of the wilderness between the Daintree River and the Bloom Field in North Queensland, Australia. There remain um, at making of this book only 296,000 acres of wet tropical rainforest wilderness that meet the ocean waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Small as it is, this is the largest pristine area of rainforest left in Australia. The artist who made extensive field trips to the Daintree Wilderness to research and collect materials. These relief colleges, collages are constructed from multitude of materials including modelling clay, papers, textured materials, preserved natural materials and paints. The collages are mostly the same size as the reproduction. Alrighty, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the clip and the book about um, the Daintree Rainforest, where this forest meets the sea. It's a beautiful book with some beautiful pictures in it, so make sure that you are listening really carefully and looking at the pictures really carefully. Even take some time to pause the video and have a good look as well. Alrighty guys, as you can see here, this is what you'll see on your class dojo. So you've got lots of different effects in the tree and then you've got your cause. Um, so reason one for deforestation and reason two for deforestation. So make sure you have a look back at the posters, look back through that first clip that we watched and have a look back through where the forest makes this thing as well. I hope you enjoy today's lessons guys and we'll see you all very soon for our next learning tasks. Bye!